Bitboy Crypto, why you should invest $1,000 in XRP and become rich. Blockchain startup Pearsist, headquartered in Barcelona, recently entered into a partnership agreement with the fintech firm Ripple to demonstrate a new use case for the open-source public ledger XRP Ledger, XRPL a notarization system based on XRP. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP. Watch the video to the end to like and subscribe. XRPL was created in 2012 by David Schwartz, Jed McCaleb and Arthur Brito, and its own digital asset is XRP. On July 1st, Pearsist announced the launch of Colombia's first national land registry based on the XRPL blockchain, a project that has been under development for more than a year. We are pleased to announce that after a year of development with at Gob Digital CO at Ministerio underscore TIC, we have launched the first hashtag national land registry on top of hashtag XRPL hashtag main hashtag blockchain for all Colombians. Learn more about how at Pearsist worked with at Ripple to achieve this goal. Further, Pearsist reported that this solution for the National Land Agency of Colombia, Agencia de Eras, is based on the XRP stamp, which allows you to register digital assets in XRPL and verify their authenticity using QR codes. The Spanish blockchain startup also thanked the Ministerio TIC of Colombia, Ministry of Information Technology and Communications, and Carmen Legia Valderrama Rojas, who is the Minister of Information Technology and Communications of Colombia. XRP stamp is decentralized, embedded in the XRP registry, which means first-class technology and high-performance structure, secure, after checking files and creating a certificate, all information is protected and stored online, and cross-service, offers a reliable notarization system for data that can be used by several organizations for different purposes. XRP stamp was designed, developed and deployed by Pearsist and uses the non-custodial XRP SIM wallet, which currently, as of July 3rd, has over 170,302 monthly active users. A respected and very popular crypt analyst from Japan Cryptoary, who is one of the largest influencers in the XRP community and the host of the Cryptoary channel on YouTube, told her about Pearsist and XRP stamp more than 202,000. Twitter followers. Pearsist has received $150,000 in hashtag XRPL wave 2 grants. First of all, the XRPL notarization system, with which the National Land Cadaster of Colombia uses to solve land problems. Can't wait for them hashtag XRP studio with integration at some wallet. Released in the hashtag XRP registry. Immutability and reliability of legal documents. Registration. Property. Evidence of time. Traceability. Etc. Multichain reports that it is now collaborating with three projects built on the XRP ledger, XRPL. The multi-chain cross-chain protocol, formerly AnySwap, is the largest inter-network bridge between different blockchains, which helps to connect and exchange transactions between them. It is currently a leader in cross-chains with a rapidly growing number of blockchains, currently 53, and tokens, currently 2402. Multi-chain added support for XRP Ledger, XRPL, in March this year to connect with the Ethereum Virtual Machine, EVM, and blockchains incompatible with EVM. On Twitter, Multi-chain announced that it currently supports three projects on XRPL. On XRP, NFT, DX and Education Marketplace is a bridge with AVAX. Esthetes and the associated ecosystem of Elysioners a bridge with BNB Chain. Sologenic is an NFT trading platform and a DEX bridge with Ethereum, BNB Chain, Polygon, Phantom, AVAX. These are some of the largest projects on XRPL, which we have already talked about earlier. Cross-chain bridges are decentralized applications that allow transferring the same asset between different blockchains. The Ripple RippleX Investment Department has introduced Clio V1. Zero. The update is designed to increase the scalability of XRP registry data, and the appearance of an automated market maker has also been announced. Hey, what's this thingy trying to fly under the radar? 
Ripple Technical Director David Schwartz shared the release of Clio 1.0 on Twitter. The released XRP Ledger API server will help improve throughput for API requests, reduce memory usage and additional storage costs, and simplify horizontal scaling. In a tweet, the Ripple RippleX Investment Department introduced the Clio V1.0 server. The description read, Introducing Clio V1. Zero, an API hashtag XRP Ledger server designed to increase throughput for API requests, reduce memory usage. There was detailed information about the server on a special website. Clio is an XRP Ledger API server optimized for WebSocket or HTTP API calls for verified registry data. The Clio server does not connect to a peer-to-peer -peer network. Instead, it retrieves data from the specified Rippled server connected to the P2P network. By efficiently processing API requests, Clio servers help reduce the load on Rippled servers running in P2P mode. Clio stores a verified ledger history and transaction data in a compact format, using up to four times less space than Rippled. Clio uses Cassandra or ScyllaDB, which provides scalable read speeds. Multiple Clio servers can share the same data set, which allows you to create a highly accessible cluster of Clio servers without the need for redundant data storage or computing. Clio requires access to a Rippled server, which can run on the same computer as Clio, or separately. Although Clio offers full HTTP slash WebSocket APIs, by default it returns only verified data. For any requests that require access to the P2P network, the Clio automatically redirects the request to a Rippled server on the P2P network and transmits the response back. The developers also shared details about the automated market maker, AMM, in XRPL. This proposal will introduce a continuous auction mechanism that encourages arbitragers to burn liquidity tokens and arbitragers to burn faster, more accurately, and more often in order to increase the benefits for liquidity providers. Hey! What's this thingy trying to fly under the radar? Multichain was no exception in January of this year. It reported a vulnerability and asked users to delete smart contracts for six assets. However, this led to hackers rushing to take advantage of the vulnerability, as a result of which the attackers managed to withdraw 1,150 ETH, two dollars, eight million, but then returned 320 ETH, seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Thus, the losses amounted to more than $2 million. In December 2021, Multichain raised $60 million from Binance Labs, Circle Ventures, and the Tron Foundation. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is $12944360065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.8% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.